Hello students, today we are going to study drawing report preparation. Now, the drawing report has been classified into three parts that is, first one is drawings, second one is estimates, and the third bifurcation is project report. Now we will see one by one each and every parameter in detail starting with the drawings. Now the drawings is also classified into following types such as key map. Now key map should show the proposed and existing roads and important places to be connected. The size of the plan generally should not exceed 22 into 20 centimeter. The scale of the map is chosen suitably depending upon the length of the road. Now, the second parameter in drawing is index map. Index map should show the general topography of the area. The details are symbolically represented. The index map should also be of suitable scale, the size being 32 into 20 centimeter. The third parameter in drawing is preliminary survey. Preliminary survey plans showing details of the various alternate alignments and all information collected should be normally drawn to a scale of 10 cm equals to 1 km to 25 cm equals to 1 km. Now in the preliminary survey we will find the various alternate routes so that we will finalize the alignment. Now the fourth parameter in drawing is detailed plan. Now detailed plan show the ground plan with alignment and the boundaries. Contour at intervals of 1 to 2 meter in plain country, a scale of 1 by 2400 and in close country a scale of 1 by 1200 may be adopted for detailed plan. It means that for plain country, we will select a scale of 1 by 2400. And for close country, we will select a scale of 1 by 1200. The size of the drawing may be A2 size or 60 into 42 centimeter approximately. Now the next parameter is longitudinal sections. Longitudinal section should be drawn to the same horizontal scale of the ground as in detailed plan. Vertical scale may be enlarged 10 times of the longitudinal scale. The longitudinal section should show the details such as datum line, existing ground surface, vertical profile of the proposed road and position of drainage crossings. Now the next parameter is detailed cross section. Detailed cross section are generally drawn to natural scale of 1 cm equals to 2 to 2.5 meter. Cross section should be drawn every 100 meter or where there are abrupt changes in level. In hill roads, the cross section should be drawn at closer intervals. 
the cross section drawing should extend at least up to proposed right of way the cross section number the reduced distances and the area of filling or cutting should be shown on cross section drawings now the next parameter is land acquisition plan now land acquisition plan and schedules are usually prepared from the survey drawings for land acquisition details these plan shows all general details such as building wells nature of gradients and other details required for assessing the value the scale adopted may be 1 cm equals to 40 m or less now the next parameter is detailed design now detailed design for cross drainage and masonry structures are usually drawn to a scale of 1 cm equals to 1 m for details of any complicated portion of the structure in large scales up to 8 cm equals to 1 m or up to half full size may be employed however the size of drawing should not exceed the standard size cross section of a stream should be to a scale of not less than 1 cm equals to 10 m now the next parameter is drawing of road now drawing of road intersection should be prepared showing all the details of pavement shoulders islands etc to scale now the next parameter is land plan for queries land plan for queries where queries for construction material are to be acquired for new projects separate land plan should be prepared the size of these maps and scales may be similar to those suggested under land acquisition okay so the scale will be same as that of the land acquisition scale now the next parameter is estimates we had covered the drawing portion now we will move towards the estimate portion now the project estimate should consist of general abstract of cost detailed estimate for each major head if the project work is proposed to be executed in stages the estimate should be prepared for each stage separately it means that before starting the work we should have a proper estimate that how much payment should be released or how much payment should be required at each and every stage of the work now the third parameter is project report the project report forms an important part of the project document it should contain information such as general details of the project and its importance next one is feature of the road including selection of the route alignment traffic etc next one is road design and specification another one is drainage facilities another one is cross drainage works or cross drainage structures next one is material labor and equipment another one is rate of the material next one is construction programming and the last one is miscellaneous 
Now, in miscellaneous, diversion roads, traffic control, roadside amenities, rest house, etc. should be there. So, that is all about the drawing report preparation. Thank you very much, students.